Welcome back to the Taste Tour, everyone. We do have Joshy here tonight. Are you going to make fun of me for that again? What? I mean, the last no, time I said this isn't Joshy because it was... Well, uh, yeah, but I mean, it, that's just stupid because it's pretty <laughs> obvious it's not. Do you have to? You're like, do well, you then he's to? not, like, 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 I understand mentioning if I'm not here. But mentioning if he's not here, there's plenty of episodes without him. Fair enough. Yeah, but all the best ones, <laughs> obviously, for me. Would you do some, do some Heather ones? Yeah. People could mistake us when I had the hair. Well, like, we, had the, we shared the same hair until recently. So. Yeah. Yeah, if, they don't, if they're not locked in the HD. You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the drink. so, beer. <laughs> so, the drink tonight. La Hoogles. Canoe Peddler. That's how you pronounce it. This is the Linen Kugels <laughs> Canoe Paddler. Kolsch style with rye. Carefully brewed by five by the Linen Kugel family for five generations. Uh, did they put the alcohol content on here? I'm guessing six-ish. I'd like to put uh, my brewery, I'd like to put recklessly brewed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's by Jacob Linen Kugel. We shit in there, we don't measure it. By Jacob Linen Kugel Brewing Company, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Also That's says Milwaukee, journey. Wisconsin, USA. Not sure why. Nope, no alcohol percentage doesn't look like. So let's try. Might I would assume alcohol. four and a half, five. Yes, yeah, probably pretty light. It's a cold, it's light. Nah, I was guessing more like six, but nah, it's I'm not like horribly one. familiar with Kolsch's. Explain. I like explain them. the Kolsch family for us. So there. the Kolsch is a beer that originated in Cologne, Germany. It's typically a very, very light, very easy to drink. Uh, Beer that specifically is brewed for basically springtime. So may I ask how a Kolsch differentiates from a typical German lager? I think it's so, a little more malty. Maybe I'm just pulling that out of my ass. So the, 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 the typical yeah. Munich malt or the typical Munich lager is extremely malty. The typical yeah, yeah, North like German it. Pilsner is more light. It's lighter. It's just more it. lightly hopped. Nice. I like it. Yeah, not bad. It's nice and light. Uh, super duper easy to drink. I think is this is this is their spring seasonal or something like that. Looks like it from the bottle art. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's for spring. Yeah, it just yeah. tastes like a good, not too hoppy, right. not too malty lager. It's like, and this is generally kind of along the lines of what a Kolsch tastes like. It's yeah. it's a very well, I like it then. Typically, it's a it's a slightly neutral flavor uh, in terms of beer. There's not a lot of hop. Like the Switzerland like of beers. Kind of. Yeah. Like, not a lot of hop, not a lot of malt. This tastes like uh, what, like, an American light beer should taste like if they knew what the hell they were except, doing. Yeah, except those have nasty flavors. Yeah, this just tastes like a nice, crisp, clean, like, yes. people like the shit like the Bud Light, because, oh, I can drink a million of them, it doesn't really taste like beer. Touch this doesn't bra. taste a billion times like beer, and you could drink, like, a thousand of these. So why are people not just drinking Kolsch's air? Because it actually has some flavor. <laughs> might be I, I suspect, suspect that. My... My guess is that's what it is. I was just assuming that most Americans are just dumbass rednecks. Not most, but they're there. A lot of them. He's alienating our biggest audience. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think rednecks. ninety percent of our views. No, they, 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 break, they break it down uh, in, the, in the insights and demographics on <laughs> YouTube. Okay, so here's the Americans. Let me click on further. Uh, rednecks. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's like seventy percent rednecks. Uh, most <laughs> most Americans. If, if they're watching this show, they obviously have some class. But I didn't. Not. But I didn't mean like, rednecks. I meant Americans. That's like ninety percent of our views. So keep watching, uh, U.S. I'd we're love to, Americans. I'd love to visit you someday. <laughs> You idiots. I'm gonna I'm gonna rock a seven on this. I actually like it. It's nice and crisp, clean, refreshing, easy to drink. Um, when you're rating seasonals, you do you do have to take into consideration uh, in your rating the season that it's try that it's for. Really? What is it trying to do for that season? And we did distinguish so, that this is a spring. spring. Yeah, spring. So, so like for example, if this was oh my, our winter seasonal doesn't work. I really don't, I mean, I get that sometimes, but, I mean, to be honest, like, there's plenty of summer afternoons that are hot, and I'll drink a fucking Imperial Stout. No, me too. I don't it's care. not, it, I, that's what I'm, I, what I'm saying is not that you can't drink certain beers because it's a certain weather. But if, what if I'm they, saying they is, capture the right, essence the, of What they're obviously okay. going for here is a, a crisp spring day. Uh, what they're going for in an Imperial Stout is not, you drink this on a warm summer afternoon. You can if you want, but... That's not really. They're the going point. for crushing your hopes and dreams and living in a snow-filled wasteland. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ba basically, like some comfort while you're miserable because it's a blizzard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I like this. Whereas I think this, this is this does capture spring yes. pretty well. I think. Yeah. I do too. I had seven for me. I'm gonna match your rating. I'm going seven as well. I will match that as well. That's about right. Wow, we summed up. That is really good. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's I can drink great. a few more of those. I would recommend it. Yeah, me too. Actually, really nice. Uh, I like Monty Kugel stuff. I, I can see if it was on a, a draft lineup, it would need some stiff competition for me to not pick it. Yep. Same. Maybe perhaps the one next to it could be the Line of Google Summer Shandy. I would pick that. Yeah, Summer Shandy. I would, I would rotate between yeah. the two. Yeah. So, a trio of sevens. Anybody have anything to add about this, or would we like to uh, continue on yeah, our evening? You, you, you're disguising closing uh, comments. Uh, uh, it's not what it is. Yes, I've, you know, I've revamped the... Uh, yeah, I yeah, know you're disguising So, any, any ending remarks <laughs> that you'd like to add, perhaps? <laughs> All right. The Bring taste tour will return. Check out the Linen Kugel's Canoe Paddler, Colt Style with Rye, from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Taste tour will return. You can bet 